What's up guys, this is JDR119 here and I'm back with another video. Today I will be doing a player review on Inform Ben Brereton Diaz. He got this Inform for a hat trick for Blackburn Rovers in a 5-1 win against Cardiff City. And he also picked up two more on Tuesday against Huddersfield, but Blackburn lost that match three goals to two. Looking at this card right here, he's got 90 pace, 80 dribbling, 77 shooting, 71 passing, 80 physical, and 48 defending. And I'm personally surprised by the buff that he was given. 7 from his original pace at 83, 9 from his original shooting at 68, 9 from his original passing at 62, 8 from his original dribbling at 72, 7 for his original defending at 41, and 7 from his original physical at 73. Brereton Diaz stands at six foot two. He's got high medium work rates, right footed. He's also got three star skill moves with a three star weak foot. Six foot two is normally rare for a winner with his pace, and although the three star three star is a little bit on the underwhelming side of things. Looking at his attribute details in the pace category, he's got 92 acceleration with an 89 sprint speed. If we take a look at the physical category for a second, despite that Brereton Diaz is six foot two, he actually has 46 jumping. Now, with this height, you expect him to get a lot of headers in there, but the jumping completely cancels that out. Although it's improved with 84 strength, which is good for a winner, and an 83 stamina stat as well. He's got the average stats overall, 82 attack positioning, 82 shot power, 80 agility in the dribbling stats, ball control 79, dribbling attribute stat at 83. He's a little uncomposed with 71 composure, 76 reactions. The short passing is decent, but the long passing is not, so I always expect passes from him at short range. He's got a little bit of curve in there at 78 as well, and 73 crossing, which is one of the main stats for a winner. Now moving on to player traits, he's only got two of them. Although he doesn't have the flare trait, he's got speed dribbler and finesse shot. Finesses are really broken so far at this stage in the game, so finesse shot is a must-have right there. Also, if you're a fan of short-range dribbling, then speed dribbler is a perfect trait for you to use. When I was using him, I brought Ben Brereton Diaz off the bench with five chemistry, but if you want to fully link him, I suggest going with Alexis Sanchez and Arturo Vidal on the left side of a 4-3-3 formation, but not the fourth or fifth variations because that links down to the left back. One of the big pros of Brereton is that he is part striker and I brought him on on the right side striker spot with a 4-3-1-2 formation. That's where I suggest mainly bringing him on off the bench or switching him in game. Whilst I was playing my games, the two biggest pros that I had about this card is that the 84 strength came in handy at best times and also the speed dribbler trait also came in at good times for me. Some of the goals I got were pretty good with him as well. Right here is where the 84 strength came in handy and him out strengthening Dea Upamakanyo, who I'll admit is one of the better center backs in this game despite the Bundesliga being stacked with LaCroix and Sant Justa. It's one thing that I like about this game is that their rating can be low, but they'll always have like hitting capabilities with them, saying the hidden gems in this game. Like Frank Onyeka, for example, who I was using. He is the CDM for Brentford, who's really good in this game. This game in particular right here was proud of because this was Brereton's first hat trick for me and it was a pretty good one as well. He got the pace, he outstrengthened Fikayo Tamori like nothing and the weak foot goal is there as well. Three star weak foot is usually a 50-50 when it comes to goals. This next game right here I was playing a little bit of risky ball passing it to both my center backs and then my goalkeeper. That would have been any single mistake right there waiting to happen for me but... I actually got this nice through ball right here over the top. Now the 84 strength comes in once again with Hermoso being out physical there by Brereton Diaz. And that was just a pretty good volley to end that game off in a 4-3 victory. When it comes to FIFA for me, using players like this that are underrated and usually not getting enough attention... Sometimes I usually like to get the chance to use some of these players. And some of these goals in this case can be a little bit scummy like this cross for example... It was an open net, and it was just a clear-cut goal from Brereton Diaz there. 
with this last goal in this game, I tend to get a little bit of luck at times when I play FIFA, especially during the weekend league. With this right here, a major bounce back to Sterling, and I just find Brereton in the box, sending it into the mid-right side. Now on to my final overall rating of this card out of 10. It's not the best card to use, but he is a decent striker to bring off the bench if you are having trouble and need help with a super sub. I guess it's based on your judgment if you want to spend just under 10k to get this card. But in my personal opinion, my overall rating for Ben Brereton and Diaz is a 7.5 out of 10 because the 84 strength really showed the speed dribbler helped. And with how broken Vanessa's are, he's going to be good at that. But I'm just disappointed of the fact that he's six foot two. He's also got 46 jumping on that, which is very disappointing in my opinion. But anyways, that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more player reviews or more content on my channel in general, then drop a like. Also hit the subscribe button with the bell turned on if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.